Friends of Skritter, 大家好 Today you join me in my kitchen where we'll learn how to make Chinese dumplings and wontons, 水饺和馄饨 I start by making some filling for the wontons and dumplings, 馅 And what you see me frying now is 蒜还有姜 And an important step of Chinese cooking is 爆香 in which you fry at a high heat to try and force out the flavor. This light brown mass that you see now is a mixture of firm tofu and tofu skins, and this will serve as a pork replacement for my dumplings. Yes, I'm vegetarian, so these will be su shui jiao and su hun dun. I'm also adding some fresh veg that I got from the market. The name I know not, but the colors were great, and I was very keen to add them to my dumpling filling. I'm adding salt to this leafy veg that I got because I want to try and get as much moisture out of it as possible. A top tip that I got before for making xian is that you try and get it as dry as possible. Now you see me chopping some hua ye cai here and some carrots before luo bo because I want to get as many different textures in my filling as possible. Oh, look, see, there's the water. And here I squeeze as hard as possible, then return all the chopped veg into the mixing bowl. Now the reason that there was that traditional market montage, 我们去逛菜市场 was because I wanted to get some very fresh wonton and dumpling skins, 水饺皮馄饨皮 I start by making some dumplings, 水饺 As you can see, I've got a bowl of water in front of me, and that kind of acts as a gel or a glue of sorts. Make sure that the skin sticks together. The first shape that I attempt to make is what we call a yuan bao, and this is what resembles an old Chinese silver or golden coin. Later on, I go back to some more traditional shapes for my shui jiaos, and you can find tons of tutorials online to show you how to make all these different shapes. You may be wondering why I'm making my own dumplings when ready-made or frozen dumplings are so readily available in Taiwan and China, and that's because I'm vegetarian, and it's hard to find. Tasty vegetarian dumplings and wontons are so hard to find that I just decided to make my own this one weekend.、And、yes, next we move on to the wontons. A big incentive for making these vegetarian wontons is that I love hong you chao shou, hong you chao shou, spicy dry wontons, and it's nearly impossible to find vegetarian versions. So you can imagine my excitement as I was wrapping them. Now, a key thing to making wontons is making sure you have a very dainty amount of filling. 馅不要放太多 because they'll burst when you're cooking them because the skin is so thin. I've taken out a tray from my fridge to freeze both the wontons and dumplings that I've made. That way, I can eat them all throughout the week. Now, the wontons you would have to boil in broth or in boiling water, but dumplings can be steamed, and if you've got a steamer at work, they can be a fantastic, healthy. Lunch, and now to the sauce, 蘸酱 I'm first adding some soy sauce, 酱油 then 醋 then vegetarian barbecue sauce, and of course some chili, 辣椒酱 What I love about steaming is that you can just leave it, go away for twenty minutes, come back, and voila, it's done. 你看都煮好了 After laboring away for hours making all these dumplings and wontons, 水饺和馄饨 I finally get to try it, and let me tell you, it was delicious. 非常好吃 I need to work on my TV yummy face though. <laughs> I hope this video encourages you to go make some Chinese food. Go to your nearest Chinese supermarket, meet some people, speak some Chinese, and at the end of it, you'll get to eat some delicious Chinese food. Support this channel by going to skritter.com and signing up for your free trial.